Hello, I'm Krista Bevins with ProLogistics, and today I have the pleasure of introducing Chris Wyatt, our senior forklift trainer. Chris Wyatt has 15 years of experience working in a warehouse on stand-up reach equipment. And today we're gonna to share some tips on how to avoid some of the most common mistakes when you're still learning how to drive a stand-up reach. First of all, we wanna make sure that you understand in driving a stand-up reach, you should only do so with the guidance and mentorship of a proper trainer that has both experience and knowledge. So welcome to learning how to drive a stand-up reach. It's one of the most exciting and challenging pieces of equipment to operate, and we wish you all the best. Please be safe. Thank you. Hello, this is Chris from ProLogistics. In this short video series, we'll discuss the five most common hazards, mistakes, and ways for beginner reach truck operators to prevent them. Reach trucks are a critical part of many material handling operations, as they can move loads of material smoothly and efficiently in areas too tight for traditional sit-down forklifts. As useful, powerful, and critical as they become, reach trucks can also be dangerous when operated in an unsafe manner. Operators must have a good safety attitude and commitment to responsible operation to prevent injuries and property damage. This program discusses those common hazards of improper operation of the reach truck and how to control those hazards through safe operating techniques. In part one of the series, we will discuss plugging and how it's used to safely start and stop the reach truck. So let's begin. Plugging is the proper way to slow down or stop your truck. While the truck is moving in either direction, pull or push the control handle through neutral to the opposite direction of travel. You will need to use a feathering technique to gradually slow and stop the forklift. You want to ease the control handle in the opposite direction of travel, slowly stopping or reversing direction of the reach truck. Without feathering of the controls, the reach truck can stop suddenly and causing your load to shift, slide off the forks, or causing you, the operator, to become unstable inside the cab of the truck. With mastering of this gradual movement of the control handle, you can stop safely and also reverse direction smoother and more efficiently. Feathering or gradually moving the control handle in the opposite direction is the best and most efficient way to start and stop your reach truck. While you're pushing the handle in the forward direction, to stop in reverse direction, you would pull that handle to you. You want to make slow, smooth transitions. Limit your forceful jerkiness. That's where the feathering or the hesitation technique comes in, in play. What is the dead man pedal? It is a switch on the floor of the forklift. It is simple to operate, but can be dangerous if you're not familiar with its functions. Never step on the dead man until you are ready to operate the forklift. The pedal gives power to whatever the forklift is doing. The dead man acts like an on-off switch for your forklift. A dead man switch must be pressed for the unit to move. This means that you must be standing on the pedal to get the unit to go forward or backwards or use the forklift controls. If you abruptly remove your foot from that pedal, the unit will skid to a stop. This is not a good way to stop your unit. When you stop in this manner, you risk the possibility of being thrown from the forklift, losing your load, and also creating flat spots on the drive wheels. Only use the dead man to stop the forklift in an emergency situation. It should not be how you stop your forklift every single time. Practice is one of the key fundamentals to mastering this plugging technique. Find you an area open, away from racking, away from people, and use repetition to learn and master this, this proper technique. Don't become complacent. 
just because one day something doesn't go wrong. Always be open and willing to learn new techniques and master those through practice. Remember to try and not make jerky movements with the handle when you are switching directions or stopping. You want to ease into the opposite direction you are traveling to slowly come to a stop. Plugging should be your only means of stopping. The dead man is for emergencies only. With proper practice and time of the plugging technique, you will be able to handle, transport, and put away loads in the safest and most productive ways possible. We've just learned how plugging is the proper way to start and stop your reach truck. But also, keep in mind that improper operation is the most common cause of reach truck injuries and property damage. As operators, we must stay vigilant and avoid committing those unsafe actions, such as horseplay, stunt driving, that can quickly lead to an incident. Just as dangerous as falling victim to complacency and letting your guard down after endless hours of incident-free operation. Remember, all it takes is one moment of carelessness to cause a serious incident.